we're gonna do polka dots on mine. So it's gonna look like this one up here. No, oh wow, it's so fancy. Hi. <laughs> These are what I was talking about. These are so pretty. Like, look at this. This is so hard. <laughs> no, I know, I'm really trying though. I know, good morning. This is a little bit weird, a little different, but anyhow, I'm just getting ready right now to actually go to my cousin Colby's house. She's teaching me today how to spin or how to make pottery. I don't know like what's the ceramics, like what it's called, but she's teaching me how to spin on her actual wheel and create something and the whole process of it. So I thought this was a cool like DIY fun video for you to see um, how to do that. So this could be like such a cool date night thing or you just want to go and make something. I know she does it as wedding gifts. She had made me my wedding gifts from her wheel, which is really cool. Let me show you. It's these. So she gave me four mugs, love them. Like, this is the perfect gift. She signs it on the back, if you could see. And um, I actually hang them up for decoration. I used to, my old apartment actually use them, but now I just think that they're so pretty because I kind of broke one. But <laughs> I love them so much that she's gonna teach me like how to do it. And I don't know what we're making because I'm like beginner 101, um, but it'll be so much fun. So I'm gonna take you along with me after I finish making my breakfast. <laughs> Let's go. No. Oh wow, it's so fancy. Hi. <laughs> I didn't put on any makeup. <laughs> oh, it's like so clean, huh? Yeah, I do everything <laughs> over there. <laughs> Don't laugh at our order. No. Oh my gosh. So this is my kiln. <laughs> this Kelly's is dad crazy. Gets all, Kelly's dad and my husband get all the credit. He hooked up this whole like cool switch thing. So I feel so legit. Wait, this is so cool. Please, yeah. please. Do not place anything on here. Yeah, <laughs> it already broke getting here. Oh shit! And like five seconds Wait, later. Wait, did you get it for free though? Three hundred. That's so this cheap, is, right? This is twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred for three hundred. <laughs> so I'm at Colby's house in her studio. <laughs> this is so cool. So she has a pottery studio area slash laundry room. slash laundry room right all in the basement but it's so cool because she makes like the prettiest gifts and i don't even know what to call it what is it like ceramics it's pretty pieces pottery pottery pieces there you go these are just some of them she's about to put in the kiln you want to look at the inside but oh yeah 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 the inside's really cool <gasps> ah, mermaid. oh wait smile Okay, good. Um, <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> They're so pretty inside. And, oh wait. Oh my god, I want to see. Is there something in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's so pretty. So upstairs, I'm going to show you some of her finished pieces. She's ga given, given. given a lot away already. But these are stuff that she's working on. And her kiln's actually in her garage. So she's going to be teaching me how to make... A cup, a jewelry cup, uh, something, a bowl. We'll see what. We'll exactly. see how talented I am, and you know, you know, naturally gifted. So she already wedged it. She didn't show us what a wedge is. <laughs> Wedging is. This is usually this is what clay looks like first. Ooh. Uh -huh. It's like just really sticky and gooey. It's really wet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Crap! I gotta wash my finger. No, you don't. You're gonna get messy. Oh shoot. So then we let it dry out and then we get it into a piece like this. By going like this. And you want it to look like a little monkey face. And what this does is it gets all the air bubbles out. If there were air bubbles, they'd pop down here. So pretty much you got all the air bubbles out yep. already. Just for you. Thanks, Culp. How long does that usually take to do? Like wedging and like taking that stuff out? Between a day and like a week, depending on how wet the clay is. So it takes a week to prepare the clay. Yeah, if you're recycling it, unless you're just gonna buy like fresh clay in a bag, which I don't like doing because it's not sticky enough. Mm. You kind of want your clay to have a little bit of mold in it. Alrighty, so let's go. So it's like a sewing machine down here. You take the clay. And you're pressing your feet. Yeah, there's a pedal down here. I want to make sure that the clay is dry. And the wheel is dry too. Smush it in the center. 
if it's wet, it'll slide right off. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is that you have to center. This took me took me six months to learn how to do. Well, I'm going to learn it in uh, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so if it doesn't come out center, I'll center and then you can go from there. So you have to wet it. And what I usually do is I'll wet the sponge a little bit. And then I'll just, everybody, everybody centers differently. Mm -hmm. So what I usually do is I push with here, this part of my hand, and I push down. So I'm pushing like this. Mm. Okay. So you see how it looks like a, a wobbly tire? Yeah. That's not centered. Yeah. You can't make anything with it. So this has a little bit of liquid in you know, water. So I'll push it this way and down. And then I'll squeeze a little bit. How do you know if it's centered? It doesn't wobble. Like right now it's uh... not centered. Some people like make a cone and they make it really tall and they push it back down. That's another form of wedging. I'm not good at that yet. Okay. So what I'll do sometimes just to like... What's the purpose of that? Oh, so that way it's not like... Oh, okay. Like weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like an actual circle. All right. Now, put some water. Mm -hmm. You press your thumb not all the way to the bottom, maybe halfway, because you're going to mm -hmm. trim the bottom. So if you do it too close to the bottom and then you start trimming, it rips apart. So now that there's a little hole in it, you're going to take your thumb mm -hmm. and you're going to press up and pull it out. Now you want it to stay like this. Okay. Because centripetal force is constantly going to pull it out. So if you start it out too far, you can't push it back in. So I'm going to go like this. This is harder than I thought. So I'm pushing it out. There was an air bubble. Oh. So now I gotta flatten the bottom. And just like briefly come up. Okay. What does the water do? It's just easier to. Yeah, because if I don't have water, it'll rip. So now what I'm doing is I'm pushing it out, but notice how it's still staying like a cone? Mm -hmm. There was an air bubble, so do you notice how it got off center? Yeah. So I didn't wedge it good enough. So, what you have to do while this is happening is cut off the top. This is gonna continue making it wobbly because it's like different levels. So I'm gonna go like this. Ah. That was cool. All right, so now, once it's like a cone, do you want to feel it or no? Yeah. Put your hand in so you can see why you need water. Oh. You're going you're gonna to stay on this side. So just like, go like that. I felt it. Oh, hand. it's wet. Now it's wet. Oh, wait, like that. Do you see how some parts are not wet and it's like snagging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get dirty. I know. And this is incredible that she's like freaking out about, meanwhile, you paint with oils and you're like the sloppiest painter ever. I know. Ever. <laughs> And I'm the complete opposite. When I paint, oh my god, everything so has to be neat. I like using this to pull it up because my fingers sometimes lose moisture. Mm -hmm. So I'll go like this and then pull the clay up. Okay, so now that we got it into a cylinder, now this is where you shape it. And you're just pushing it out with your finger? Uh-huh. Do you see how it got off-centered and it's wobbling? Yeah. So, that'll happen. It Once it comes off the wheel, you won't know. It's just a little bit more frustrating. What are you doing in there? I'm actually smoothing the bottom out. Mm -hmm. So that way, it doesn't crack in half. Ooh, this is about to rip. Let's see if I could do it to something pretty cool. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You see it ripping? Yeah. It's about to, it's about to. So that's what happens when it's not centered. So you know what? Here's what oh, I'm doing. Oh, wobbling. Yes. I'm gonna cut it in half. Ready? Hi! Right. So, I mean, this is a terrible example, but look at the picture. So this is how you get it off the wheel. Mm -hmm. Use the wire tool, this thing. And oh, cool. So while it's spinning very slowly, you press this on the bottom. You go like that. She's done. Two fingers like this. Mm-hmm. And you turn on slowly. 
Bloop. Comes right off. So this is garbage. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it in half so you could see. Okay. Oh, it's thicker. So you see how the thick, the thick, that's yeah. okay because you're gonna trim it. Yeah. But the reason why it fell apart is because notice how thin this is? Yeah. Compared to down here. So now you're gonna put that in the middle. Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> know what? So you take the sponge. Squeeze out like half the water in it. So you want it? Yeah, that's good. You don't want it dripping when you. Okay. Okay. So now you can turn the wheel on a little bit faster. Okay, now put your hands on it. <laughs> put the water. You need water. So, oh my gosh. It feels so weird not having my wedding ring on. I know. So, what I want you to do is just kind of like feel out the clay. Try to get it in the middle, and you're going to put pressure and continue to hold this at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Press this you way. Here, here, and here. The, uh, whatever, whatever feels comfortable for you. Go ahead. Try to get it in the middle. This is hard. Don't go with the clay. You're, you're, you're the owner here. I know, but I don't know what's centered. Press the wheel. Don't touch it. Does it look wobbly? Yes. Okay, so it's not centered. Right. Okay, so now that we got it centered, you're gonna put your thumb right in the middle. Now press. Harder. Harder. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. It shouldn't be up there. You should always stay at three o'clock. You don't have to turn your body. You feel it? Okay, you went a little bit too far. Oh. I, I can fix it though and pull up. Stay at three o'clock. You don't have to move your body. I do, I do though. Ah! And you're gonna press like this part of your thumb mm -hmm. up and out. And it should be pressing against your hand. No, 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 stay at three o'clock. Stay, no, 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 no. I'm fixing them. Pretend like your hand is stuck right here. Okay. Like you cannot move anything. It, your your hands are stuck right there. Like Turn that. it back on. Mm -hmm. Now pull up. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard. Okay, put it on. <laughs> if it comes out bad, I'll show you how to make the top like, like a flower, <laughs> so that way no matter what you like it. So where do you usually find it? Like just wherever you want. Three o'clock and just like stab it. Yeah. Or slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Okay. That that works. <laughs> this is so hard. No, I know. I'm really trying. Though. I know. I know. Joking. I know. You're doing great. I'm You're like doing really great. trying. I'm surprised it hasn't like flown off the wheel yet. You're doing fabulous. All right. Now you want me to get up so you could. You want to take it off? Mm-mm. <laughs> You're like, I will nope. destroy the whole thing. <laughs> all right, so now, sometimes just to make it a little bit easier, the reason why I took off all that wet clay mm -hmm. was that when I pull it up, it doesn't, like, slip. So I'm going to, like, cut off. Look in the mirror. Oh. Ooh. It's, it's close. You saw how, how so you saw explode? it? it's going to explode? No. It's just when we trim it. It's just very, very thin, so we ain't gonna be trimming too much off this thing. Oh, we don't have to make it trim. We have to? Um, yeah. <laughs> you have to clean up the edges. That crap was so hard to do. Oh my gosh. So, what are we right here? In the sun. Oh! It's gonna sit there for like an hour. That's my jewelry box. Yeah. The gangsta jewelry box, right, Cole? Good job. Gangsta. Now you want to make a, another bowl? You want to try to make a cereal bowl? Cereal bowl! Yeah. Wow, my battery's like dying. So look, these are some of Colby's that she does too. We're going to do polka dots on mine. So it's going to look like this one up here. It's so pretty. Oh, well she did butterflies. Wait, wait, you can't see. She did butterflies in hers. But look at the polka dots. I love the polka dots. This video is so all over the place. My apologies. I'm trying. This is so cool. Like, look. 
That's um, a soda fire. Soda fire. And then look, this is like horse hair. So that's a naked raccoon. That one? Yeah. This is so cool. All right, Lee, let's finish it off, baby. Okay. Because my battery's going to die. And we're done. These are what I was talking about. These are so pretty. Like, look at this. Look how pretty. And then look. Bloop. It's so gorgeous. And then this one, too. I think we're going to do this color for my mugs. Such a pretty color. Look, look at that. All right, so fast forward two or three days, AKA one hour in our case. <laughs> so the way that you trim is you just, this came out really thin, so I'm not gonna do the middle. I'm just gonna go like this, and I'm gonna round out the bottom. See how it looks like finished? Yeah. You have to be really careful because it can spin off. So now I'm just gonna smooth it out. And now I get to write my name on it. Yeah, I gotta blow dry it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes of Instagram. This is all the stuff that we're gonna put in the kiln. Stack it on up. Stack it on up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like there needs to be like a sound effect. Like, <laughs> <laughs>